What up y'all, it's your homie Caster Troy here. Usually I'm on YouTube doing some shoe review videos, some camera related stuff, or some guitar music related type stuff. But today I thought I would do something different and hook you guys up with a review on these two gaming headsets. The Steel Series Arctis 5 and the HyperX Cloud Alpha. So I'm gonna let y'all know something. The real reason I haven't been on YouTube lately is because I've been addicted to Fortnite. That's right, you heard me. This Fortnite game is freaking out of control. It's really fun. It's one of the most, if not the most addicting games I've ever played. I don't mess with that PUBG stuff. We ain't, we ain't even going there. We on that Fortnite stuff right now. Corian, you are a bear, by the way. I never had a gaming headset. I just got my Xbox One, like about September, October of 2017. And I just had this, this one right here. I got this stock little headset. <laughs> this little uh, Xbox headset, which was like 25 bucks. Looking back, what a ripoff, right? For a freaking headset, like, get out of here. For this little thing, total ripoff. So, I didn't think anything of it. I thought, hey, you just put it on your head, you know? The only reason anybody would need a headset is just to talk to friends and stuff, right? When you're playing a game. I didn't think that you'd actually wear a headset for sounds and stuff. I mean, I'm not a, I was never a big gamer like that, so I didn't really think anything of it. So, I had this guy, and we're always playing Fortnite, and my bros are like, they're always calling out people, like, yo, get them, they're, they're right over here. I'm like, yo, yo, where are they at, where are they at? Like, I'm, I was always asking where the opponents were and stuff, because I couldn't hear properly where everything was coming from, especially footsteps and like uh, gunshots and stuff like that. I just couldn't hear it. So finally, I was like, you know what? I need to get a damn headset. What am I doing? So the first headset, let's just, we don't even need this. So the first headset I got was about three weeks ago, and it was this one right here, the Steel Series Arctis 5. And let me tell you something, the packaging is awesome. The packaging is awesome, totally blows any packaging that comes with like standard headphones away. I did a lot of research before buying a headset. Did a lot of research, and after all the research that I did, I finally came across the Steel Series. Now, they absolutely look better than any headphone on the market. There's no question in my mind, these look better than anything. They're super sleek. They're, look how sleek these are. Awesome. And I wanted to get a headphone that I could listen to music with too, instead of having like two pairs of headphones with me at all times, like if I'm on a trip, if I'm on an airplane or something. And I did not want a microphone that was sticking out on the headphones. I didn't want to look like a telemarketer. That would have been really embarrassing. So what was really cool about this headset here is that the microphone is actually hidden here and it just pulls out like that. Pretty dope. Really cool right there, and you can position it, all that kind of stuff. Goes back inside when you're done, just like that. Really cool. These ear cushions right here are super, super soft. Really, really soft. Um, they're made out of like a satiny material. They're not velour or anything, but they're just like a, like a fabric, satiny fabric. Really soft, really nice. And what else I do really like about this headset is that the volume knob and the mute button is actually on the earphone itself. I really like this, that there's an actual button on the earphone. So, you're probably asking yourself, why did you get the Cloud Alphas too? I mean, you seem to like these a lot. Yeah, these look awesome. Let me tell you something, these sound incredible. I put, uh, I have about a, I don't say $150, $200 pair of Bose headphones that I've been using for years. Amazing headphones. And I just wanted to test out the music quality through these headphones. So I put a song on, you know, that I like. I used my, my Bose headphones, it sounded great. Then I put these headphones on for the same song. Dude, these headphones blew those Bose headphones out of the water. It wasn't even close. I mean, you could hear, I mean, generally speaking, most gaming headsets are gonna be more bassier than uh, like consumer products, music headphones. But all that aside, these just freaking killed, they killed the Bose, like seriously. So for a hundred dollar pair of headphones, like even for music, Incredible, incredible. So, I was really disappointed when I uh, discovered something on these headphones that made me want to look for a different headset and return these. And that is right here, the headband. This headband technology. So, at first I put these on, I was like, wow, these are super, super comfortable. I like the headband technology. After about two weeks of playing, this headband was really bothering my head. Really bothering my head. And it actually started to make my head itch a lot. This headband technology 
what it does is it's applying pressure to your head. There's no space. Like most headphones, you're gonna have a tiny bit of airspace between the actual headband and your head. So it's not constantly putting pressure on your head. I couldn't wear these anymore. It's just very uncomfortable to wear. Right when I got this headset, I was asking my friends, I was like, yo guys, I got a new headset, how do I sound? They're like, uh, you don't sound very good. I was like, really? I thought they were just like pulling my chain. But after like asking a few more friends, they, uh, they said they couldn't hear me very well. Like, it was kind of echoey and stuff. So I was like, eh, I don't know about this. Uh, we might have a microphone that might not be all that great. So I was like, geez, these look so cool and they sound great. What am I gonna get? So once again, I did a ton of research and I didn't like any headphones out there. I didn't like anything. I was looking at the Astro headphones I was like, geez, these are like 200 or 250 bucks. That's ridiculous. The consensus overall was that the HyperX uh, gaming headsets were pretty damn good. Like, they had a lot of good reviews. I, I didn't love the way that they looked, especially compared to these. But I was like, you know what? Let me let me give them a shot. So I was gonna get the I forget the name of it. It was the HyperX ones that are officially licensed by Xbox. I didn't like the look of them at all, but it had pretty good reviews. So I originally bought those, and then right after I bought them, I saw these, the Cloud Alphas. And they had killer reviews, so I canceled that order and I bought these. Now let me tell you something, these are amazing headphones, freaking amazing. They come in at about the same price tag as the Steel Series, and freaking acoustically, they sound incredible. They're not quite as bassy as the Steel Series, but they are, like acoustically, they're so clean, there is a lot of bass, but there's just just overall, it's just like such a wide spectrum of fidelity in these headphones, it's amazing. So these are the headphones right here. And one thing that I really like right off the bat is that the ear pads right here, they're not made of fabric, they're made out of a, like a fake leather, which is great. They are ultra soft. And when you put them on, man, it's like a cloud on your head. It's like a cloud alpha on your head. The headphones don't swivel left and right, so if you wanna put them around your neck, they don't you know, lay on your chest. I'm not hating on their looks at all. I like the uh, the red aluminum, steel, whatever it is. The headband is really soft, and I like that it has the old school clicking, whatever you call it, technology. So it just goes around your head like that. You've got a little space between your head and the headband, and it's not applying pressure to your head. So I've been wearing these for about a week. No problems at all. They sound amazing. What sold me on these, another thing that sold me on these, was that the microphone actually detaches, which is great, is great. So I can just wear these as normal headphones. If I want to go in the studio and record a song or do anything, I can just use these as normal headphones, just like the Steel Series where it has a hidden mic. This mic just attaches and detaches, which is great, just like that. The only thing I wish that it did have was the volume knob on the actual uh, earpiece itself. It's got this wire right here, it's on the side here you have your, your mute switch, your unmute switch, and your volume dial right there. So it's not a big deal, it's really cool. I wish it was on the headset itself, but not a problem that it's not. And one thing I will say about this microphone, it is super thick and it'll bend in any direction you want. And the consensus is with this microphone, since I got this headset, I've been asking all my friends on Xbox Live how it sounds, and I didn't tell them I got a new headset, but immediately they were like, wow, you sound a lot cleaner, a lot louder. So yeah, for sure, there's no question, if any of you guys are looking for a gaming headset in this price range around $100, and you don't know which one to get, definitely get the HyperX Cloud Alpha. There's no question, all around, it's an amazing headset. It'll work for music, work, and especially gaming. So yep, yeah, that's all I got for you guys right now. Until next time, my homie friends, if you liked the video, Hit that like button. If you really like the video, hit that subscription button. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, my friends, I will catch you later. Peace.